Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, I'm driving jet. So... Okay, be careful. Thank you. Good evening. Yeah. How are you today? Welcome. How are you? I am doing I great. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, I am very happy to be here. Very relaxed. Today is a very nice day for me. I love Wednesdays because it is my day off. So I can stay at home and I can do all the things that you yes. don't do. <laughs> yes. I stay at home and I I don't do anything more than the things here at home. So it is a nice day for me. I, I really like Wednesdays. Sounds good. Yes. So uh, my day was very good. Thank you very much for asking. It is normal that I always ask you all, but it is good that you ask me. That's pretty awesome. I won. <laughs> yeah, you won, definitely. So, Gladys, how was yours? How was your day? Well, it was great. It was great. What did you do? Well, uh, I went to the gym. You went to the gym? my very first day. Oh, really? How Time. nice. Yeah. How nice. It is nice. Well, I, mean, I feel good. That's good. That is really nice that you went and yeah. that you feel nice, right? Yes. It, everybody tell, told me that it's weird because they suppose that something that I have some pain, you know, yeah, that is like the most common thing, right? That you say like, yeah, it is the first day and you are going to be like all sore and you are going to have a sore body and you are going to be like, oh my God, something. Yeah, no, but it's really but awesome. Today, I, I feel well, but tomorrow, <laughs> we don't know. Never know. Well, it, <laughs> it, is always, it is always good that if you have, for example, uh, I don't know, any relajante muscular there, any artribion. You can take one today, just just in case, right? <laughs> yeah, so you prevent you prevent any pain. But they say as well that if tomorrow your body hurts, it's because the gym did the purpose. And you have mm -hmm. to work out again to get rid of the pain, right? So yeah. it is a matter of constancy. So you have yes, to... Yes, but I... I, I... I thought the go until January. Ah no no no! If if you because, consider it because I, I I want I want to eat the <laughs> on Christmas on pollo sin culpa. <laughs> well, but you you can, you can you can you can do it. I mean, the idea is that you don't eat in 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 a, in a big excess, right? Because the problem is in some cases that we want to eat even the dish, right? Hasta el traste nos queremos comer. <laughs> and that's yeah, the besides, I, I, I don't I don't go to the gym for for being fit thing. Being fit. <laughs> you know, I yes. I you, is because uh, health. Because of the health. Well, congratulations yeah, on your first day. Hey, that's really awesome. So <laughs> we are going to be supporting Gladys on her gym journey, right? It's like, Gladys, ya fuiste al gym, le vamos a poner en el chat. So we are, going to be, we are going to be following you, even on vacation, right? Even on vacation, you have to push Gladys, right? Gladys, did you go to the gym? We are going to say. And we're going to be asking you. Yes, but, it is. but it's close. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I at ask. home. At home. I will answer. You know, uh, there are many, there are many good sites to dance uh, Zumba online on YouTube. So you can practice that. That is really helpful as well. Yeah, but I, can I, got, I got two feet left. Two left you feet. Know. No, no, no. But it, it is. You know, it is not for experts. I, I do it with my kid and he loves it. Really? Yeah, 
okay, this is like eh, 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 dancing. They are like very easy dances. I will send you the link okay. later. <laughs> That's all dancing Zumba here. Yeah. Well, my I'm dear, here. my dear class, it is a great pleasure to have all of you here. Welcome to this Wednesday. Remember, we're missing two days this week. I mean, besides today and two days next week for us to finish up with our classes. I hope that uh, we're going to be practicing during vacation. Please practice on vacation. Listen to music in English. Get the lyrics, right? Don't sing just like that. Put the karaoke version of the songs so it can be easy for you. And you can be there like, yeah, 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 the soul of the party. You can be enjoying every party with your karaoke. And you can practice your English as well. So uh, read a lot. That helps a lot. Read, practice, and for sure, do not stop getting vocabulary and getting new material, right? For you to improve your English every single day. Well, my dear class, today we are going to work a little bit on <clears throat> a past continuous and simple past. Simple past is one of the most difficult topics in matters of English because we tend to confuse a lot the different pronunciation of the verbs, when do you change the verb and everything. But you also have to remember that in the case of the simple past, right? It is not a matter of memorizing everything, right? In, in, in the verbs, in the matters of verbs, but it is a little bit of, yeah, kind of uh, remembering the rules a little bit and for sure using it appropriately. Some of the most important things to remember about the past tense, right? And I know that you probably studied a lot, right? You studied that on basic English, on pre-intermediate, you studied that a lot before, but it is always good to refresh. When do you use past continuous and simple past? Past continuous, as we do it in the present simple, right? We have present simple and present continuous. Can you tell me a difference between them? Who can give me a difference between simple present and present continuous? Um, simple present, um, we have to use the verb and, 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 and original form. In the original form, uh huh. Yeah, and in and the present continuous, um, usually use um, the verbs with ing. Exactly like that, yeah. right? We use the verb in the ing form. So if I say, for example, I am going to show you a couple of examples here. So the same thing goes for simple past and past continuous. What is the difference? Simple past is an activity that you were doing and it is over, right? An activity that was happening in the past is past continuous, right? Something that you were doing in a moment in the past. For example, let's practice here normal forms of verbs. What will be the verb for this picture? What will be the verb for this picture? Paint. Paint, right? Paint. What will be the continuous form of this verb? Painting. 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 Okay. What is the past tense of this verb? Paint. Painted, right? Painted. What is the past continuous form of this verb? Hmm. Painting. Painting. Aha, uh -huh. I was painting, right? So you can say here that you say like, okay, uh, he paints the house. He is painting the house. He painted the house and he was painted the house when you call him. And there you have the four forms of the verbs, right? Here I have it and I am going to write it for all of you. Let's go to the board. So you can actually see it because you can, you can actually read it and put it on sentences and everything. But if you don't picture it, it is difficult for you to actually understand the topic. So you say in the normal form, so you say he paints, 
the house. This is simple present, right? He is painting the house. This is present continuous. He painted the house. This is simple past and he was painting the house uh, when you called him, right? And this is, oh, wait, 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 wait. Here, I will say he was painting the house. This is just uh, at 8 p.m. yesterday, okay? Here we have different forms of the sentences, as you can see. The difference is here. Let's move here. What are the differences here? He painted the house. It means that he finished, right? Esta, ya la casa está pintada, se acabó, right? He painted the house. He was painting the house at 8 p.m. yesterday. He's like, what was he doing yesterday at 8 p.m.? What was he doing yesterday at 8 p.m.? Um, he, he was painting the house. He was painting the house. Uh -huh. So if the police is looking for a criminal and they say, Mr. Jose Arturo, you are one of the most, uh, one of the, of my, of what? We are looking for you because we think that you did it. What oh, were you that... doing? <laughs> what were you doing at 8 p.m.? Sorry, oh, yesterday. I was. I think I ate at 8 p.m. I I was I was painting my bedroom. <laughs> I was painting my bedroom, right? So I am not, right? This is a past continuous, right? It was happening yesterday at that time. If I ask you, for example, people, what were you doing 10 minutes ago? Hmm. What were you doing 10 minutes ago? Um, I was I was drawing um, over a um, mirror. I was you were drawing. Yes. Okay, you were drawing. Draw what were you doing ten minutes ago? ¿Qué estaban haciendo hace diez minutos? I was watching TV. I was watching TV. Uh huh. I was, I was eating. waiting for the class. I was waiting for the class. I was working, teacher. I was working. Yeah. For... I was washing washing the dishes. Washing the dishes, uh-huh. What were you doing 10 minutes ago? That is? I was, I was driving. Words. <laughs> I was driving, Lily, right? I was I was learning new words. <laughs> I was a studying English teacher. <laughs> I was reviewing my class. I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking about the class. I was thinking about the class, right? <laughs> so this is past continuous. It's like actions that were happening in a moment in the past, right? But maybe they were not over or they were interrupted. So you say like, I was watching TV when the teacher said, good evening class. Ay, oh, esa voz yo la conozco. <laughs> it's the teacher. <laughs> so I was having my no, dinner. Teacher. It, the, the say uh, recording in progress. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> recording in progress. <laughs> exactly. You know when I appear, exactly when I appear, right? Recording in progress. It's like, the teacher. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So that is the, the difference between uh, the use of past continuous. But the last example that you have there. He was painting the house when you called him. In this case, you have a mixture of simple past and past continuous because one action interrupted the other one. In the last sentence that we have, what action was interrupted? Paint. The painting, right? The painting was interrupted. Who interrupted it? ¿Quién la interrumpió? Who did it? The person. Yeah. The person. Uh, he, the person who called, right? The person who called. 
right? And maybe he never finished painting, right? You say, you know, he was painting the house when you call him. And then he never finished painting, right? Ahí está la pared medio pintada desde febrero. And they never <laughs> finished, right? Oh, so, <laughs> so you say, for example, I was taking a shower when I ran out of water. Imagine that you were like, dee, 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 dee. what happened, right? And you with the shampoo on and there's no more water. Okay, I won't go to work. I don't have water. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the difference, right? Here we have the simple present, the present continuous, simple past, past continuous, and past continuous versus simple present. Okay, here we have all the different forms of the verbs. Let's do the sentences, all these types of sentences with the different pictures that I am going to show you, okay? Let's do another example here. What is the verb for this one? Let me stop here. Swim. Swimming. Swim. No, what is the normal verb? Swim. 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 What is the present continuous verb? Swimming. 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 What is the past tense of this one? Swam. 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 Right? Swam. Yeah. What is the past continuous form of this one? Swam. Was swimming. Was swimming. Okay, now put a name on this partner here. Póngale nombre. Is swimming. No, what is the name of him? Póngale nombre. Is Peter. Peter. Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> Gucci. 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 <laughs> okay. Peter. Dejémoslo en Peter. Peter. Let's do Peter. a simple present sentence. Peter. Swam. It's swim. Simple swim. present. Simple present. Uh, simple present. Peter uh, swim. Peter swim. Peter what? Give um, me more information. No. Peter swims no. on, the, on the pool. Uh -huh. On the pool. On the water. Every morning, every Saturday. Pool. In summer. In, in summer. Weekend. Okay, on the weekend. Okay, on the weekends. Let's leave the that week. one there. Okay, vamos a adoptarlo. So this is Peter, right? Yo le veía cara de John Lee, but Peter. <laughs> Peter. It's an American, an American Chinese. That's okay. So you say Peter. Peter swims because it's third person. Uh, Peter swims um, on the swimming pool, on the pool, pool. every weekend. Every uh -huh. weekend. Every weekend. Let's make it past tense. It can Peter be affirmative, swam. negative. Peter was. Peter swam. Last weekend. Aha. Uh -huh. Peter swam on the pool last the weekend. Last weekend. Last weekend. Okay. Peter swam on the pool last weekend. Let's do it. Oh, we can. There, there, you go. Okay. there you go. <laughs> Sorry, I was writing too fast. Then let's go. Let's go with a past a continuous. Peter was swimming. Peter was swimming. Peter was swimming. Last Monday. Okay. Let's see this one. Peter was swimming on the pool some minutes ago. Aha, uh -huh. and what happened? Let's interrupt Peter. Peter was swimming, swimming on the pool when his sister, when his, his sister 
when you start raining. When... <laughs> Call it. Jump, when... in, jump into the pool. Okay, when his mm -hmm. sister jumped into the pool. Very yeah. good. When he saw the shark, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Peter was swimming on the swimming. Peter was swimming on the pool when his sister jumped into it. Let's say, jump into. In this case, you don't jump into the pool. It's okay for it to be very complete. So there you have, there you have the forms of the past tense, right? In this case, if you want to make it negative, you say Peter doesn't swim on the pool. Peter didn't swim on the pool. Peter was not swimming. And Peter was not swimming on the pool when his sister jumped into it. So you can make it negative. Can you make it a question? ¿Cómo hacemos la primera una pregunta? Peter swims on the pool every weekend. Let's make that one a question. ¿Cómo le haríamos pregunta? Do simple. Was, was no, the first one, the first one. When, when Peter on the pool. Okay. When swims Peter on the pool. Okay, I do have two questions there. Okay, let's do the simple one. Does, does Peter swim? Does Peter swim? Does Peter swim? On the pool. On the pool. Every weekend. Every weekend. And there you have a question, right? Let's make it bigger here for you to have. Does Peter swim on the pool every weekend? And he says, yes. He swims on the pool every weekend. And we have the other question. The other question that you were mentioning. That you have, when does Peter swim on the pool and in this one it's a little bit further question for more information when does peter swim on the pool every peter week swim on the pool every week exactly like that peter swims on the pool every weekend if i say people what was peter doing some minutes ago what was he doing some minutes ago he was, was swimming. He was swimming. Peter was swimming on the pool yeah, some minutes pool. ago. Okay, so now that you have the idea on how to do it, let's work on some examples with past continuous. What was uh, Miguelito doing this morning? He was, he, was, he, was, he was washing, he was washing the, clothes. Clothes. He was washing the clothes, right? washing the clothes. He was washing the clothes, right? What did he do yesterday? Hmm. <laughs> Miguelito. Okay, if you told me, if you told me, he was washing the clothes some minutes ago. What is the past tense form? ¿Cuál sería la forma en past tense? He. Miguelito um, washed the clothes. Washed the clothes, right? He washed the clothes. What did she do this morning? Was, in the yard. She, uh huh. Past tense, complete. Cleaning. She was cleaning. Uh -huh. Good. Pay attention. Pay attention. The differences between the questions. If I say, what did she do? It's a past action. If I say, what was she doing? It's past continuous. Okay? So we have to make the difference there. What did she do this morning? Clean the garden. She cleaned the garden. What was she doing in the afternoon? She was cleaning the cleaning. garden. She was garden. cleaning the garden. Very good job. What about uh, Mr. 
Mr. Julio. He looks like a Julio, you see? Uh -huh. oh, yes. What did he do this morning? Listen, what did he do? Oh, uh, he is cooking. He cooked, uh, right? He, he cooked. Cook. The breakfast. He cooked breakfast, right? What was he doing 10 minutes ago? He was cooking. He was cooking. He was cooking. Very good job. This is you in high school. What did you do when you were young in high school at night on Friday? Mm -hmm. oh. I, danced. I danced, right? I danced. I danced. I danced. I danced. Aha. Yes. Uh -huh. What were you doing on Saturday night? I was dancing. I was dancing on the club, right? I was dancing in the convivio, right? What was she doing this afternoon? He, she was playing the piano, right? And what happened? Something interrupted her. ¿Qué la interrumpió? She was playing the piano. Um, when, when someone when someone when the dog when the dog <laughs> when the dog what when the when the dog barks when the dogs bark when someone Knock, knock the, the door. door. Knock, knock the door. door. Right? There you have Mr. Romeo. What was he doing yesterday? Yeah, he's playing. He was playing. He was playing, uh, he playing guitar. 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 He was playing the guitar, right? He was playing the guitar. Okay, there you go. He was playing the guitar. And let's see the last example. What were the children doing? Hmm. Mm. The, children I was the children the children were playing, 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 playing in the park. Okay, the children were playing were in the park. In the park. Why, why do you use were and not was? Children is a plural. Because Very good plural. job. Because children is the plural form of the verb. So, those are some of the most important tips, right? I could start like giving you a lot of grammar, a lot of rules and everything. Podría haber empezado esta clase dándoles toda la grammar de simple past, past continuous and everything. But now I said like, let's jump into the examples. I said, they can do it. And you see, you did it. And I think you got the difference between the four tenses. Simple present, uh, present continuous, past tense and past continuous. And it is something easy for you to analyze. The idea of this is to know what type of tense you are talking about, okay? Si estamos hablando de situaciones que ya se acabaron, simple past, right? If we are talking about situations that are happening or that were happening in the past, past continuous. If you want to talk about what was happening when something else happened, uh, past continuous, past simple. Okay, so there you have the two points. Let me just share, okay, before I move on, I will call the attendance antes de que siga con los ejemplos. Let me see, and then we are going to keep working. Okay, let me just call the attendance. When you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? Let me see, I am going to add this one. And here you have, what was the teacher doing a couple of seconds ago? Hmm. What was the teacher doing a couple of seconds ago, people? She's, she's she was deaf. explaining the past she was present in her class. She was explaining the class, right? She was explaining was the difference. The okay, she was showing some pictures. Very good. She was showing some pictures. That is, right? And what were you doing? You say, I was paying attention. I was 
listening to the class, right? I was observing the pictures. That is what you were doing. Alejandra Cristina? Present. Thank you. Astrid Michelle? Present. Blanca? Present. Clau uh, Carlos Alfredo? Present. Claudia Yanet? I'm here. Ever de Jesus? Uh, first teacher. Hello, Ever. Thank you. Gabriel Stephanie? Gladys Imelda? Present. Thank you. Hey, and Gabi, she's not here. Okay. Griselda Elizabeth? Present teacher. Jasmine Vanessa? Present teacher. Mira. Thank you. Joaquin Ruperto? Present teacher. Thank you very much. Jose Arturo? Present. Thank you. You see, he was talking when the teacher interrupted. Ah, Jose Manuel? Jose Isaías? Here, teacher. Lilian Estela? I'm here. Luis Fernando? Present, teacher. Thank you. Present. Eh, Luis Roberto? Let's see, eh, Madeline. Hey, Luis Roberto. No, not here. Okay. Madeline, not. Manuel Aristides. Present. Olivia. Present. Paola. Present. Rosa. Present, teacher. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Walter René. Here, teacher. And Jenny Maritza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Roberto and Madeline. No, right? They are not here. And Gabriel Stephanie, either. Okay. We can continue with our lives. That's so nice. Very good. So here, ya estamos en paz con la asistencia. Let's work on this one. So, when you go to the book and you have the differences between simple present and present continuous. Here we have the, it was on unit number four, right? Here we have some examples and you are going to see the differences between the verbs. And the first one says, uh -huh, this is in the radio and now in the news with teacher Nati. Chan, chan, chan. An attempted robbery took place at Easter Bank today. A man was trying to rob the bank, but he wasn't very lucky. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. The police arrived and took the man to jail. It's like there are some people with bad luck and this one, right? You say like the revolving door is the door that you enter and it goes around, right? So when he was escaping, he got caught in the revolving door. <laughs> and the police caught him. So it is like, hay gente panda y mi compañero aquí. So lucky. <laughs> the next one. What was the man doing? What was the man doing in the first uh, situation? The man was trying the rub. He uh, was trying to rub the, the bank. And while he was escaping, the robber got caught in the revolving door. So what was the action that interrupted the rub? What was the action that interrupted the rub? The police arrived. The police arrived and the action that... Uh, that in the revolving door. He in got caught in the revolving door. He got caught in the revolving door. That was the action that stopped the robbery. Number two, and it says, it was a strange soccer match last night. The beers, the bears, okay, be careful with this one. The beers, the bears, 
right? This is the bears because it's the animal. Mm -hmm. Don't say the beers. The beers are the drinks, right? You have to be very careful on this. The bears won the game, but the lions scored the winning goal for them. As Jake Walters was running towards the ball, the, he tripped and accidentally kicked into the wrong goal. The score was bears one, lions zero. Josue, tell me. Teacher, I I was thinking about the the the, the sentence uh, that you uh, you was doing eighteen minutes ago, and is if we say the teacher was teaching us, it is too redundant. No, no, no. Or because you are okay. no, it is okay because oh, okay. that's that's the action that I was doing. So, but you have to be very specific. You say the teacher was teaching new vocabulary, the teacher was teaching new words, or the teacher was okay. teaching the class. So in the case of the teacher teaching, it's like, we don't have another option. <laughs> okay. That's, that's what you. the teachers do, we teach. <laughs> we can do a, a, a tongue twister. Exactly, hey, we can do exactly a tongue twister. <laughs> the teacher was teaching, the class, but she thought she was teaching a teachable topic. I will write my own <laughs> in this one. So in this case, no, it, they were, no copyright, exactly. They were doing a soccer match, right? And what was the situation, right? What was the situation? Jake Walters was running towards the ball. Right, that was the act, the situation that was happening. He tripped. He tripped. He tripped. Se tropezó. He tripped and accidentally yeah. kicked into the wrong goal. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you have to, you have to be really, really bad luck, <laughs> a bad luck person to do this, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it will happen to me. It it would happen to me, right? So that's why I don't I don't like sports. I am not a sports person. He tripped and accidentally kicked into the wrong goal. I I I have a a little story similar to this one, but I have a very good friend that we used to play basketball at the office together, right? Because they there was like a basketball field. But the thing is that he was going towards the towards the basket, right? And he was giving his best. And then he stopped and he just threw the ball to the public. We don't know why he did it. But we were like, ah, you were in front of the basket and you threw the ball to the public. And we were like, ah. And that's why he got the nickname of the imaginary player. <laughs> Todos le decían, ¿y tu amigo? ¿Y tu amigo imaginario? <laughs> because, I mean, he just stopped in front of the basket, right? And we said, like, hey, we're going to score. And he threw the ball to the public. We lost the game. Thanks to that. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> and, and it was like, hmm? And he was the complete year. He was, like, with his imaginary friend. So things happen, right? These, is, these stories are real. What happened in the last one? In the last story, it says, an electrical problem at PAX Arena interrupted a Planets concert last night. The Planets were performing a new song when the lights went out, but the show went on. The Planets continued to play in the dark and the, lines, the lights came back an hour later. What was happening on the story? What was happening? It went out. The lights went out. And what was happening? The concert. Go there was? Aha, uh -huh, there was a concert. Specifically, the planets the were performing a new song when the lights <laughs> went out. But the, okay. show went but the show went on. It means that the show continued, the right? The show 
had to go on. So what was happening on each story that you consider surprising? What do you consider surprising from the first story? La suerte del... <laughs> what do you consider surprising? The luck. And that the police took the men to the jail. Yeah. What do you consider surprising on the second one? Accident, mm. accidental kick. Accident. Accident. That they accidentally kicked the ball in the wrong goal. And what was surprising about the last one? The show went on even okay. life without. The show went on even without lights. So I really need you to think about a situation that you consider unlucky. That you were doing something and something else happened. I need you to think about a situation that you consider unlucky or that you consider surprising on which you were doing something and something else interrupted it. And I need you to actually analyze and build it up because that is going to be your audio for tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, I need you to think about it, to build it up, to analyze it, and then tell us about that. Maybe you can do it tonight or tomorrow during the day when you say like, you know, similar to these little, little stories here, right? You can say, for example, you know, teacher, one day I was, uh, I was driving the car and all of a sudden it started raining and I got very scared because it was raining a lot. And then we decided to park the car, but all of a sudden a lot of water appeared and we almost got drunk by the water. It was really horrible, teacher. It was a true story. <laughs> With my husband, one day we were driving, right? And it started raining a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And we say, let's park the car and wait for the rain to go. We parked the car. And as soon as we parked the car, we saw a lot of water coming from the street. But it was like a big, big, big river. And we were like, ah! and we tried to move the car but the car didn't start because of all the water that it had. And, it like, wang, 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 wang. and then we were hit by the water. <laughs> there were like many other people around and they were like, agarre el carro, agarre el carro. And we're like, ah. It was really horrible. Oh but my God. Here I am. I am okay. It was scary, but we said like, a great idea. Let's park the car. Don't do it, okay? <laughs> Think about a situation on which you were doing something and something happened. So try to build it up a little bit. It has to be something short so you can share it as the audio for today in, uh, in the night or tomorrow in the morning. So think about a story, right? Something short, it can be something short. Here we have some other examples. Joaquin, can you help me read the first example? Okay. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. Very good. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. Olivia, can you help me with the next one? As Jack was coming toward the bar, he tripped a ticket into the wrong board. He tripped and kicked. He, he tripped, tripped and, hit. and kicked into the wrong goal. And Jose Arturo, the last one. Um, the planet, the the planets were performing a song. When the light, when the lights went out. Very good. When the lights went out. So here, here we have a little exercise that we are going to do together. And in this one, we are going to decide if we need a past tense or a past continuous form. So here, let's do this one. We're going to do the first one. A golden find. It says a golden find. 
let's read it around and let's see if we need to use simple past or past continuous. It says, while drivers work off the what coast of works? Florida, they a shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. The divers a show about the coral reef when they, the gold. So it says, while drivers were working, working. or worked? Or was working. Was okay. working. Divers, plural. Were working. Were working. Were working. Exactly, right? Were working. When, were, sorry, while drivers were working, let's make it smaller, off the coast of Florida, they discovered. Discovered, discovered because this is the action Over. that interrupted everything, right? A shipwreck. What is a shipwreck? It is an old boat on the ocean, right? Un barco hundido. A shipwreck containing gold worth $2 million. The divers was filming. Divers Film. were filming. We're filming, right? We're, we're filming. filming. We're filming a show about the coral reef when they find the gold. Found, found right? The past found. tense. When they found the gold, right? This is what they were doing, and this is what happened, right? Let's see, Astrid, can you help me read the complete paragraph? Well, divers were working off the coast of Florida. They discovered a string work containing gold worth two million. Two million. Two million the divers dollars. were the divers were filming a show about the coral reef when they found the gold. Very good job. Excellent job. Let's do the next one here. This is a little bit longer. It says, and this one is called four leg customers. Four leg customers. Cliente de cuatro patas. One windy day, a woman, her pet poodle down the street. A hairstylist, the dog through a window and it's crazy hair. Later, while the stylist a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats. He, a new slogan, even animals have bad hair days. So you say, mm -hmm. one windy day, a woman was walking her Was bed. walking, yeah. right? She was walking. She yes, was yes. walking her pet poodle yes, but, down the so, street. A hairstylist. See, so, 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 the dog so, through a window. And noticed. And noticed. Good. So the dog through the window and noticed his crazy hair. Right? Aquí todos ten pasado porque nadie interrumpió a nadie, right? He just saw the dog and he noticed the crazy hair. Later, while the stylist Create. creating later was while creating. the stylist was creating was, was creating. 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 Ajá. ¿Cómo sabemos también que vamos a usar past continuous? This is like, mientras el estilista uh -huh. estaba, while, yeah. while, while the stylist was creating a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats, he, he, he came, he came, he came, up, came up, came up with, right? Came up he with. came up with a new slogan, even animals have bad hair days what is came up with it's like oh, i got it Se le ocurrió. Mm -hmm. he came up with a new slogan even <laughs> animals <laughs> Se le ascendió el poco, right? rescue the ambulance an ambulance driver breakfast in a coffee shop when a woman into his ambulance and mm -hmm. away the driver his cell phone and alert the police. The carjacker over 90 miles an hour when the highway patrol finally her. An ambulance driver had, had, had breakfast. Okay, an ambulance driver 
because wow. it says Apparently. when a woman what? Aquí nos dice que como que tenemos when, o sea, algo estaba pasando. And then it says when, okay, an ambulance driver was having, mm -hmm. he was having breakfast into a coffee shop when a woman hoped hope. Hope into his ambulance. What is the hope. meaning of hope? Eh, saltó. Saltó, se metió. Brinco into his ambulance and drove and drove away. The driver grabbed grabbed, grabbed his cell phone and alert. alerted the police. The carjacker went over ninety miles an hour when. The, uh, oh, sorry, the carjacker. Okay, cut. It says like the carjacker was going, was going Spawn. over 90 miles an hour when the highway patrol finally cut. 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 cut up with hair. In this case, it's cut. Cut. Cut up cut. with. Cut up with. Cut up with her. Right. <laughs> Let's see. Jenny, can you help me to read the complete paragraph? An ambulance driver had, well, I'm sorry. An ambulance driving driver was having breakfast in a coffee shop when a, go, a woman hopped into his ambulance and drove away. The driver grabbed his cell phone and alerted the police. The carjacker was going over uh, 90? 90, 90 yeah. miles an hour when the highway patrol finally caught up with her. Caught up with her. Very good job. Thank you very much. Rosita, what is your question? Or do you want to read? Yes, Rosita? Vi tu manita levanta. <laughs> Sorry. Uh huh. Okay. So the carjacker, la ladrona de autos, the carjacker was going over 90 miles an hour, right? She was going over 90 miles an hour. So, eh, Rosita, no podía ver la pantalla. Sí, de ahí no, no aparecía en negro en la pantalla. Y ahorita Pero ya te sale normal. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah, in some cases, the connection is the problem, right? That we have some, mm -hmm. some uh, uh, connection issues, right? And here we have some uh, pronunciation tips, right? In this case, when you say, while divers were working off the coast of Florida, they discover a shipwreck. Right. So you kind of make like the pauses on this one. Right. When drivers were working up the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck. As Jake was running towards the ball, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. Right. So you have to make it specific for you to give like the flavor to the story. Right. And you can say like, while I was going to Santa Ana by bus, then we found all this traffic near San Juan Opi. Mm -hmm. And it's true. <laughs> All the ones that are going to Santa Ana, right? While I was waiting to arrive to Santa Ana on time, I found the traffic in San Juan of Pico and I stayed there for two hours. It was horrible, right? So you have to give the different forms of intonation. So here you have four different pictures. Can you tell me what do you imagine that was happening on the pictures? What do you, what could you invent from each of the pictures? Yo sé que ustedes son bien creativos, así que let's, let's take one and then invent something. She, she's speaking in the beach. Uh -huh. um, 
you can you can do it individual. It's okay. You can do individual stories from the four pictures. Uh huh. Um, the there the girls uh, was going to the school when um stopping the beach and they they didn't have the swim the swimsuit uh -huh. the swimsuit so um they swim with the clothes <laughs> they swam with their swam, clothes swam with clothes okay the girls went to the beach, but they forgot uh, their swimsuits. So they swam with their clothes on. Good story, right? Yeah. I went to the beach with my other friends when my best friend arrived and asked me, why didn't I take her? Oh, she's not my friend oh. anymore. What happened in the second picture, people? Look at the police oh. there. The um, the when, control. Um, okay, Arturo. Arturo the, and then Gladys. Okay. <laughs> um, the police officers pursued to the thief, mm -hmm. and uh, when they um, don't watch in the the stop um, and into the lake. Okay. And the chief saved the police. Okay. They didn't see and they went into the lake and the thief saved the police. Good. Good. Gladys, what is your story? My story is about a woman is talking with a police about a child took a, a snake from the soup. <laughs> okay, the lady was talking to the police officer about a boy who had taken a snake from the zoo. Okay, my story will be on number four. We had four tourists in a taco who were playing with a snake, and then the snake strangled one of them and they took him to the hospital. So you have the story. Have you ever gone to a taco that they have this oh, more, more sense. <laughs> that they have this big yellow snake and you are like <laughs> and, it, and it is there, right? He was getting a picture when the snake strangled him. He almost died that day. What about the number two? I will say the police officers were sleeping on the car when the waves came <laughs> and luckily there was a thief around and he helped them luckily there was a thief around and they helped him so and uh, you say like we yeah, have when did it happen in the three different stories right and here we're going to finish with these little stories, right? Here we have a match the headline with the beginning of the news. Okay. With which headline you will match this one? ¿A qué encabezado le pondrían este, este inicio? Rick Jones got a surprise when he went to his mailbox last week. And it says, lucky discovery for French girl, social network engagement, Man receives letter mail 50 years ago. Job applicant's life saved by being five minutes late. Letter three. Number three. Number three, letter A. Okay, number three, letter A. Rick Jones got a surprise when he went to the mailbox, mailbox last week. He received a letter Mail 50 years ago. What about the next one? Sophie Dennis was playing in her yard when she found 30 Roman coins. Number one. Number one. What is number one? Lucky discovery for French lucky girl. Discovery lucky, for French lucky girl. discovery for French girl. And Lisa Miller is lucky 
As she was hurrying to a job interview, she missed the bus. Number, Number four. Number four. Number four. Jobs four. applicants life save by being five minutes late. And the last one, Derek Adams didn't propose to his longtime girlfriend in the traditional way. He did it online. Social network. Social network, yes. Social network engagement, right? So here we have four different stories. We are going to go deep on this one. But people, I need you please to think about your story. Tell me what was happening when something interrupted it. What were you doing when something happened? And tell me that on an audio. It can be today or tomorrow during the day. Okay. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for more practice on this topic. Okay. Bye bye, my dear class. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye bye.